They are among the youngest forced to flee in what the United Nations calls the worst humanitarian crisis in Europe since World War II. More than 200 children evacuated an orphanage in southeastern Ukraine over the weekend as Russian troops attacked a nearby nuclear power plant. The children, ranging from toddlers to teenagers, arrived in the western city of Lviv after a 24-hour train ride with orphanage staffers, including a very emotional director. My heart is being torn apart. I'm sorry, it is tough. When families are separated, it is very hard. I'm sorry, I simply lack the words, and I feel so sorry for these children. They are so young. I don't understand why the Russian people cannot believe that we are being bombarded, that we and our children are being killed. As night fell and the temperature plunged, the children waited patiently on the platform at Lviv, none of them crying or complaining. 16-year-old Vladimir Kovtun said he finally felt safe. It is terrifying to stay in Zaporizhia when the air raid sirens are going off and we must constantly hide in the basement. As snow began to fall, they boarded buses bound for their new home in neighboring Poland, where dozens of other orphans from Kyiv, Odessa and Kharkiv are already being housed in places such as the Osa Hotel in Warsaw, which has been repurposed for refugees. Conference rooms were turned into makeshift dormitories for around 700 children who can stay as long as they need help, a hotel executive said. One woman overseeing the children said she was being barraged with questions from them about when the situation will end, adding, quote, they are afraid and we are afraid. We don't have any answers for them. We don't know what will happen tomorrow, what will happen in an hour. As of Sunday, the civilian death toll since Moscow launched its invasion of Ukraine on February 24th stood at 364, including more than 20 children, according to the United Nations, with hundreds more injured.